Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV shows. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of the different shows, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to talk about some stuff, and go over what I want to talk about in this video. This is in regards to some of you guys' questions. So again, this is kind of like some of the videos I've been doing recently. You guys send in topics, questions, ideas, theories, and I go over all of it, and we talk about it in the video, and you guys have been really enjoying it. I can see that it's a really good idea, and I'm going to continue doing this, because really, in the past like two weeks, the only piece of information really that we had was like Ralph, you know, not coming back to the show, so Hartley Sawyer being fired, and then we had the news the other day about the DC fandom stuff regarding, you know, potential trailers, potential panels that they've confirmed with the cast, so basically like a new Comic Con. So really, in like two weeks, there was only like two big things, and we've been using the other sort of time when there hasn't been news or anything to do these videos, and I've been really enjoying them, so I'm going to continue doing them and hopefully you guys continue to tune in so go over to the community tab right now there's going to be a new post for the next video we do like this where you guys can leave your topics theories ideas or questions okay so let's go ahead and get into the first one and so the first one's actually not one this was just something that i found so i was just like scrolling through reddit on supergirls reddit and i found this really cool piece of artwork regarding like Power Girl basically and like a different version of Supergirl kind of in the style of Justice League Unlimited the cartoon series which is amazing I love it and I watched it so many times over and over again Supergirl is very different on it more like a child but this is not really in regards to like her sort of personality and the way Supergirl was on that show but you know it's just in regards to the suit so someone has done this very cool edit where you get to see this sort of Power Girl version. Well, this is kind of more like a Power Girl suit than a normal Supergirl suit of Supergirl. So I wanted to bring it up and talk about Power Girl because, you know, this has been something we've talked about over the years. I think it's bound to come up at some point, like, surely they're going to mention Power Girl or, like, maybe we'll see, like, a iteration. Like, I really do think this is something and a storyline that would be really interesting at one point. Where you get to see not just like another version of Supergirl, but a version that's actually a hero rather than like an evil version or something like that. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think about that. I think it would be amazing to see a good version of Supergirl out there like Power Girl. Okay, so let's move on to the actual first question. This comes from Naomi Tweed on YouTube who asks, Will Ralph Dibney be replaced or somehow die? And if he's been replaced, have they found a replacement? If it hasn't been replaced yet, who do you think would be a good replacement? Well, who do I think? I don't think they should recast personally because, you know, the way Ralph's powers works, it should be just like, you know, he transforms. Yeah, he can look different. He could be a different actor. But the voice stays the same, so that wouldn't work, in my opinion. So, I'm not in for recasting. I don't think he should be replaced, but if they are going to replace him, which I don't think they are, you know, I think they would have been already casting for that already. But, yeah, so, I think more likely, rather than him being replaced, I think he's going to die. I think he's going to be killed off. I don't think he's just going to go away. I really have this feeling that this may happen. Alright, let's move on to the next question. This again comes from Naomi Tweed on YouTube who asks, Will Darren Chris ever come back for a second episode as the music meister? I mean, I would love it. And you guys know that I'm the biggest fan of the musical episode. I think it's incredible. The best episode of DC TV ever in my opinion. So I would love to see Darren Chris return as the music meister. But as far as what they've talked about, in regards to doing like another musical they said they want to do like a more grounded version like grant will be down for that but it's unlikely that they're probably going to do like a proper musical crossover like they did last time because it's very taxing took a lot of time and you know i'm pretty sure it's not going to happen again which is sad in my opinion and i would love to see darren return but i'm pretty sure he could return if it wasn't a musical, but it makes sense if they would return, you know, kind of how he first was introduced for those two episodes and we haven't seen him again. 
But yeah, so that's my opinion. I think it would be amazing if he came back. He can come back, but it would be in a different way, probably not in a musical way. Okay, so Tyrone Flame on YouTube will ask, how many episodes will Superman and Lois have? So as of right now, like, you know, in reference to Batwoman, at first I think it was like 13 episodes or something like that, where they got the sort of full season order, but then they see how it goes, and then they get the order like, you know, maybe three episodes in after they see the ratings and how people have responded and then they will probably upgrade the show to like 22 episodes 20 episodes like they did with batwoman so that's what's going to happen with superman and lois and i think they will probably get to that 20 episode count i don't think it's going to be a very short show like legends or you know black lightning's a bit shorter so i think it's going to be kind of the same as supergirl or like the flash Alright, so Scott Boswell on YouTube will ask, Do we have an idea of when filming can start in Vancouver? Could they start filming in LA first? Alright, so let's answer the last bit of the question first. Could they start filming in LA first? No, they're not going to do that. The CW never does that. It's way too expensive. And yeah, apparently LA productions can start going back, like, around now. Like, if they have protocols in place. So they definitely could go back to LA first because they've sort of like kind of given up, I guess. And they're like, yeah, you can start filming earlier than, you know, maybe is safe. That's all down to whatever they choose to do in America. But in Vancouver, in Canada, it seems like they're going to be able to start filming properly and like actually safely by, you know, kind of late July time slash start of August. So heading towards the end of the summer is when, you know, they should start filming in Vancouver. We've had some articles recently that we went over in regards to them setting up guidelines and basically kind of being the starting points for getting these productions back into Vancouver. So yeah, late summer is probably your best bet as of right now as to when the shows are going to return to film. Okay, so Peter Simone on YouTube who asks... Will Vanessa Morgan play the new Batwoman? So I heard rumors about this. I think Paige made a video. I think I've seen this around quite a few times. I haven't actually looked into it, but as far as I know and as far as I read into it, I don't think anything has been confirmed yet. I think they're rumors. I think people would be like, oh, this would be sick. I think Vanessa would probably be down. And apparently there may be some talks regarding Vanessa Morgan to be playing Batwoman like it would make sense she's currently on Riverdale and you know she's on the CW they normally like casting CW actors I think they would totally go for this if you know this is the thing that they want but until we see like solidified reports that she is actually like properly testing she's maybe being considered for the role I'm pretty sure she probably has done auditions for this role as Ryan Wilder because most CW actors probably want to get the gig where they are, you know, the number one on the show. I mean, any actor wants that anyway, so, you know, it makes complete sense that, you know, maybe Vanessa wants this, and the CW obviously do like her because she's on Riverdale, and, you know, they do have a history together, and the CW always likes its links to its actors. Okay, so let's move on to the final question. This is from Tyrone Flame again on YouTube who asks, do you think in the next big crossover Barry might go to L2 by mistake and meet the JSA? So I thought this was a really interesting question because we've been thinking about this, we've been talking about Stargirl crossing over with like Supergirl or The Flash and you know I think this is a really good idea. I think this could happen like he might accidentally go so fast that he travels throughout the multiverse and that's the point when Barry and, you know, the Flash TV show as a whole realizes, oh shit, there is a multiverse out there. Like, we didn't get rid of it. Like, there's just a new multiverse out there. So we're not alone. And maybe this is the way they find it. This is kind of what happened with Barry running to Supergirl's Earth, where Barry just runs into the JSA. So I think it's very feasible and it's a good idea. So that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment remember go over to the community tab right now to submit your question if you want to be featured in the next video that we do like this so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy road.